Kevin to Tim Rally here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a comparison video in a way. Um, I'm, I'm just going to play a stage of RBR in Australia, uh, my chat, because one of the better ones, uh, and uh, play a stage in day, day two in Australia as well, and kind of feel what the uh, feel what the similarity is uh, between them. I had like all sorts of footage set up for like a comparison video when I just thought it's just pointless. Three, um, two, one, go. Yeah, and it's just right, it's pointless because right, we keep asking there. ourselves for an for the new Richard Burns and every rally game that comes out where you know we're saying oh is it going to be the the game that knocks our VR from the top but I don't think we've I think RBR has been around that long now that it's kind of just become its own entity like it's being built on over like what over 15 years is it like 18 years it's been out now and so much sort of love has gone into it Ooh, what's that three and it's like even the vanilla version of the game is still brilliant. Obviously limited to the cars and stages. But you know, some people will argue that the vanilla version of the physics was fine. And didn't really need changing. I personally like the NGT physics, which is what I'm on now. A bit slippy, but like really sort of satisfying to master. Yeah, it just gives you like, like you really feel like you you're having to know what to do to get the cars around the corners. I love this stage as well. I need to remember to break for the jump at the end as well, because that'll just kill me. Like the force feedback though, isn't it? Force feedback is, is just so spot on for me. Some people will argue, probably that you don't like it, but it's one of the better force feedbacks of the, the sort of rally games that I play. That gives me the sort of the most detail of what I'm doing. Especially when it comes to like different surfaces. Like if you go over if you go over like any really bumpy surfaces you can feel it in the wheel. And you can feel how unstable the car is. And sometimes obviously the graphics aren't great. The surface might look the same. I think there's, there's like a bit on pen close snow where that was on in the league where you could sort of the road surface almost looked the same but you went over this bit where the road was like really damaged and you can feel it you can feel the car bouncing around like it just adds to that extra little bit of spice where you're obviously panicking Especially when you're in the league, because one little mistake and you're a goner. And these 2017 cars as well are just awesome. Obviously being quite a bit cautious here, because I'm trying to talk at the same time. <laughs> This is the best game as well for like hooking your wheel into the um, little ditches to get you down. But everything just feels intuitive. 
There's also got uh, the new physics that are out as well in GP6, which I haven't tested yet. I've seen a couple of videos um, of the people playing them. Uh, and it, that looks like it's got tyre temps and tyre wear. Is that a break? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Look at that. <laughs> so, so I'm dead. I've broke my car just after that one jump. Uh, and here lies the problem with Dirt 2.0. You just wouldn't get that. Uh, we, wouldn't, we haven't had that on, on any other game. Um, so, it just adds to that fear. I think that's the only really thing that's missing is a, a really punishing damage model. I think if they're 2.0 out that, it would be a lot more sort of, you'd be a lot more invested in it, like I'm a lot more scared of it. Whereas now already, after playing a few stages, it's you kind of used to the stages and you're used to where sort of might damage you but you never really you can bounce off something and you're still gonna you're still gonna get to the end of the stage you might get a little bit annoyed by a puncher yeah, but that's about it um and for the leagues to really matter that's what i could do with i think like it's obviously it's got the hardcore damage model but it's not hardcore damage model really it's a slightly more punishing damage model than what they had uh, but i'm going to load up into dirt now anyway and we'll give that a go as well so two secs so here we are uh, day 2.0 gone for a fiesta r5 because um, yeah ford for ford even Five, though we four, even though we were in a 2017 three, one before two, um one, so 50, six left 30 turn square right into three left long Comparison wise, obviously the first thing you notice is the force feedback isn't, isn't sorted yet on 2.0. Now Code Masters have acknowledged that there's an issue with it, but there's suspicions that it might not ever get done. And that this is how they've intended it to be. Um, middle of a jump. I think, as far as how a car would feel, it's probably spot on. Titans, thirty, crest and jump through narrow gate. To four right Does, um, like it's it returns the centre and everything, but it's missing the the seat of your pants stuff crest. that you wouldn't necessarily feel in a in a right. real car steering wheel 80, but that normally right translates through the wheel to give you the better feeling of what's going on through your ass so hopefully they do something with that but like physics wise and everything still there you know still it's still Tricky, not as tricky as the NGP physics on Richard Burns, obviously. But, but it, once you start getting through your tyres and you get on wet surface and that, it's still a challenge. Like the car won't brake easy. You've got to be quite quite early on your brakes and stuff. So the, the sort of the, the difficulty is there. The only thing is it kind of strokes your ego a little bit. Um, they, they even Dirt they Rally, Dirt Rally, the original, even more so. It was tricky to get used to. But once you sort of got your head around how it worked, you could just do stupid things. Like, way too quick. And it, like, it made you feel like a sort of rally god. <laughs> To keep middle if of a you try to put those skills onto the road, I think you into might get shut left. down a little bit. Right. Middle of a crest, but I do like how it's three left how the of car slides. Again, it's a bit of an 50. ego thing. Like you can get the car sliding and control it really easily. To keep middle of a jump. 
But I, I think they've done a brilliant job. But like one of the main issues you're going to have is content. 60 over finish, okay. just 6 right eight. of a crest, 30, um, to stop. Yeah, now I, I enjoy both of them equally. The only thing, like I say, with RBR is the fear factor. RBR gives you this this fear that no other game can give you, and especially in the leagues, like if you watch the live streams of the, the VRC leagues, that, um, I mean, yeah, it's terrifying. You don't want to push because... You know, as soon as you just that one slide off into a tree, and you're you're done. Your rally's over, and that's all that two point was missing for me. Um, apart from the force feedback, which is meant to be getting fixed, um, but everything else is spot on. Obviously, content. I think that's the only way we're gonna get a an RBR competitor is if we had someone like um, Kunos with. A set of course of one, but a rally version of that, um, that allows modded stage and allows mods and can just be built up and built up by the community. Uh, that's the only way we're going to get it. We're not going to get it with sort of triple A titles or bigger companies like Cove Masters. Um, it's just not going to happen. You need, you need a sort of lower company who's more sort of who's going to open the doors for us. And let all like the still like the RBR stages be inputted and um, but newer, better graphics and obviously a set of course it does have the rally stages, but they're not really without the co-driver. You can tell it's it's not it's not focused on rally, so it's kind of limited. If there was a decent co-driver rather than that co-driver app that you've got to do, maybe, but it need leagues as well. Um, although there is a Facebook page, I think it's called Assetto Corsa, uh, uh, what's it called, Assetto Corsa or something, in fact if I find it, I'll link it, um, there's a guy who's trying to set up like a, a Facebook page, Assetto Corsa Rally, I think it's called, and um, it was started it before Christmas, looks like it's died off a little bit, but he had like stages and everyone competing on the stages, uh, that's probably as close as we're going to get, just a, a in community thing, Um but it'd be good if someone if we actually had like proper leagues and stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, so that's my thoughts on a bit of a bit of a cop out really, because I haven't really picked any sides or anything, but I don't want to. I don't think I have to. Um, I think they're just two separate entities and uh, like I say, until someone a modern type get a modded type game, um let's let us start uh, putting our own stages and stuff like that in we're never going to get an rbr a new rbr um so but like i say loving dirt rally 2.0 i think uh, just a separate entity once the league the leagues kick off i think that's hopefully when i'll start putting a bit of proper time into it without the leagues it's a bit we need the online multiplayer leagues um for, for, in my opinion but yeah that's a bit of a rambling video as per usual but yeah that's just i just wanted to get my thoughts out there on it um and yeah uh, thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>